Hey everyone, today is May 1st, and if you didn't know, that means a lot of new sets are releasing at the LEGO store, more specifically the May 4th releases. We got the X-Wing, we got Diorama, some Mandalorian Season 3 sets, and we got that awesome Death Star promo. So I'm going to go to the LEGO store and see what they got. But more importantly, not only any uh, Canadian LEGO store, I am in the New York City. Uh, why am I here? I just, I just felt like, you know, going for a little bit of a walk from Canada here, only, you know, only took me a couple hours, but it's very peaceful here in Central Park. I'm just sitting here on a little bit of a rock uh, and I'm enjoying life. But without further ado, let's go to the Lego store and see what they got. to find myself in this store which as you can see has like a bunch of stuff retired new but the prices are quite insane it's american here and like canadian the sanctum is like 310 and this store is selling for like 400 so yeah cool sets but i don't know if they're for me necessarily <laughs> And here is my haul for May 4th, or rather May 1st. Now I did spend the 150 threshold to get the Death Star 2 promo. I really do like that thing, especially with the 4 Dave logo down below. Really interesting promo. But what's even cooler than that is the uh, the Chuck E. Cheese coin. I've been wanting that forever in the Lego Stars line. I'm so happy to finally have it. All these other things are uh, are uh, nothing in comparison to this. This is this is what I and everyone else came to get. And then besides that, the last promo here is this X-Wing uh, poly bag. And I really do like this promo, especially because it is 40th Return of the Jedi. I love the theming across everything this year for May the 4th. And then continuing that theming, I did get one of the dioramas being the Endor speeder chase. I really do like this one. I was going to get the Return of the Jedi final duel, but I decided I might go back in the next like two, three, four days if I think about it enough and get that and maybe the uh, uh, big Star Destroyer, but I will just have to wait and see. As for now, I'm kind of content with what I have here. And then the big one is the Mandalorian Fame Fighter versus TIE Interceptor. I'm so happy to finally have this set. Even though it technically didn't happen like this in the show, it still is an amazing set. I love those minifigures and I love the two ships. But yeah, guys, that is my haul. Thank you so much for watching this video. Lots to do over the next few days building-wise, but I'm probably just going to enjoy myself. I'm not in a huge rush to build these things as I am in New York City. They did have the Disney minifigures, but I ultimately decided not to get any right now. I might go back once again to get them, but I'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, that is my haul. Thank you so much for watching. I have been Jagger Collector, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.